chance. Are you ready to talk? Are you gonna scooch? Are you gonna come find mama? Come find mama, come find mama. Across your cushion. Come get mama, come here, sir. Mama, you found my hand. Hello, thank you for finding me. Stand up, one, two, you're free. Big guy. Find your block. Good job! Way to follow that noise. Okay. Yep. Obviously, this is gonna have to be really quick. Haven't been vlogging because uh, the month of August, between Jensen and I, we have 23 appointments and like there's just no time. My time for editing YouTube used to be in the morning and he has been waking up super early. So I haven't been able to work out. I haven't been able to edit YouTube. I haven't been able to really put forth any time towards myself, honestly. Oh boy. But more to get into those appointments later because that's not what today's about. Those will be some future vlogs. Jensen. Sit up, please, and I will pick you up. Sit up. Thank you. That was a half try, but we got it. We got it. I knew you could do it. You're going to have to give us some time. I was gonna bring you guys in here so that he would be happy while I filmed, but clearly you cannot hear me talking with the bubbles on. And I tested talking without the bubbles on and we were not having it. So here we are. This is take two and hopefully take three will be the one that gets us there. Do you want more bubbles? Do you want bubbles? Oh, don't drink the water. Ready, set, bubbles! Alright, so two, three hours have passed since I originally started to film. I will cover Jensen's medical stuff in the next couple videos, but for today we're going to talk about our friends Eve, William, and John. Alright, I totally forgot to add this part in, so this is going to come in in the beginning, so this is going to be real weird, but here we go. Since I'm just not a great YouTuber yet, I don't have the confidence to talk and like film my life at the same time. It's like I sit down and talk about things later, and I just also want to enjoy the moment when Eve, John, and Will were here. We just took different footage, we took pictures, all that good stuff, so you're going to listen to me talk, but you're going to see our amazing weekend together and just some other videos along the way. All right, enjoy. So just a little bit of background. I joined a Nori disease support group and Jensen was probably like four months old shortly after connected with Eve. And we just had so many similarities and obviously that our boys have Nori disease. Um, what most of you don't know and realize is that our kids are only three weeks apart in age. Eve and I met in person when our boys were like, I don't know, seven months old maybe. And that video is right here. Even then, Will was already exploring a lot with his hands and Jensen just was like, nope. That's that's why I love this example because this disease is just so rare, A, but B, the broad range of symptoms that can come with this or disabilities or whatever are perfectly displayed between our boys. <laughs> Jensen's very sensitive to noise when he's eating. Even us talking isn't too bad, but Williams just makes up small peep and Jensen loses it. Even that little noise seems to do it. So to begin with, even just diagnosing our boys, I found out at day two that Jensen had something wrong with his eyes and we got immediately into another doctor who said bilateral retina detachment and then that got us into surgery at one week old. Eve's situation, she explains it in this video. Basically, they didn't find out until her son was a couple months old. There's just some different things that go along with that. She's kind of annoyed because she asked them to specifically look at his eyes just because of something else she noticed and then it just took that much longer for them to realize something was going on and in a way, 
I feel fortunate that I found out right away, even though that took away from my whole maternity leave experience. I'm just glad we were at least on the ball from the get-go instead of thinking that it was a cancer, because that's another thing. A lot of people experience doctors that don't know what's going on. They see a mass in the pupil, and then they think it's like a, a tumor of some sort, which makes them think cancer, and then that just puts you through a whole different kind of whirlwind. So I am very happy that we found out in a way that we did, because we kind of just got down to it right away. Moving on. So overall, our boys have a lot more differences than they do similarities, but for similarities, they both aren't really that into feeling things and tactileness. They're more into their music. Anything audio, they are just so much more interested in. Both the boys do not use silverware yet, so as Okay, wow, just hot mess express. Differences, or yeah, differences. Will is just like eating solids. They're like, you don't have to cut a sandwich up in small bites. Jensen, we still have to get little bite-sized things. I feel like, honestly, we just got started with Jensen and eating solids for the most part. After visiting Eve, she kind of broadened my horizons on trying to get Jensen to start with more solids in this video. William is a pro at drinking out of his sippy cup. Jensen, we have to give him his sippy cup. He did get the hang of it for a minute, but we have regressed in that completely. Completely. So just that William is just so independent with his sippy cup. William is not phased by loud noises. Jensen can just be screaming and Will is just doing his own dang thing. He's just hilarious. He is a ball of energy. Jensen on the other hand hears one peep from Will and he lost his crap. Okay, he lost it. But moving on. Here's a video of William getting out of his crib. Yes, they have to now tent him into his crib so that he won't escape. Means of communication. Jensen uses a button to communicate. That is how he tells us he's all done with his food. We need to incorporate that to other places in his life. And then we are getting more and more buttons that we're trying to utilize. It is a work in progress. William can communicate some things. It's funny what he chooses to communicate and what he doesn't. He can say, ready, set, go, like a pro, okay? He loves saying, ready, set, go. It is such a fun game for him. He also knows how to sing and it is the cutest freaking thing ever. I hope someday I can hear Jensen sing. Otherwise, his mumbling is always cute too. William is walking and I'm just so impressed. I know when he started to really get going. Eve called me in distress because she's like, this is so upsetting. He's walking. He can't see where he's going and he's getting bloody nose, bloody lips, black eyes because he just keeps hitting things and it breaks her heart, you know, and I can only imagine. And it's just like this horrible thing. Like I cannot wait. I hope Jensen can walk someday. But yeah, that's like a whole new battle that you have to get through. And it's just a lot. It's just an extra thing on top of, you know, everything else we have going on. Their eyes, their eyes are so so different. Jensen literally doesn't have any iris in his eye. It's all black pupil with some cloudy scar tissue beneath it. William, on the other hand, has light blue iris with a tiny pupil and you can see the cloudiness in there like the cataracts. But Eve has noticed that the pupil itself is almost changing in shape and I think it's because the cataract or the iris is almost like grabbing onto it. I feel like that something like that. But don't quote me. I should probably research that but I don't have time. Sorry not sorry. Look it up on your own and or Eve if you want to like, I don't know, throw some info in here. Another difference is just the care across the United States and even Canada for one of the moms we talked to there. But for Jensen's recovery care after he had surgery to try to glue his retinas back together was to be face down for two months, which is just freaking crazy. Looking back on all that, whatever, can't go there right now. Eve, on the other hand, they had to hold William down for like a couple days face down and they were very devoted. They even did it while they changed his diaper, which is like unfathomable. We would keep Jensen and face up to change his diaper and to feed him. Um, otherwise, yeah, we were face down for 24 seven for two months. Even the suggestions of using a belt cane, if you don't know what that is, I will pop it in right here. Eve has been told that no, they shouldn't use those. And I have seen other families that do. I had a family reach out to me saying that Jensen can still use the belt cane even though he's not standing or walking. And then to look up such and such a site, not arguing with them. I, I haven't done that research, but also I just, don't see how that would work. And this is gonna be one of those times that I put my foot in my mouth because I should do the research before that. But you know, I just got bigger fish to fry right now. We're not even getting close to standing and pulling up on our own. Let me just cross one thing at a time. I should look into it and see how that could maybe help us. But uh, like I said, we've got a lot else going on, which I will cover in some future videos. Okay guys, I know that was like all over the place. I attempted filming this once, like right after they visited, which by the way, in reference, it's been probably two to three weeks now. But like I said, life's busy. All right. I just need to end this. Yeah, lots of learning to do, lots of new experiences coming, and lots of other scary but fun but stressful but hey, roll with the punches stuff. All right, guys, please continue to like, subscribe, and follow us on TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. Bye.